Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and happy new year to you all. It is 2020, what the heck? It feels like just yesterday I was starting my channel. That was back in December of 2013, which is just crazy. I can't believe I've been doing this for six years now. So I just wanna say thank you guys for all the love and support over the years. If you are new to my channel, if you have only just found me, then welcome. I hope we can have a great year together. I'm very excited for 2020. It's not only a new year, it's also a new decade. But in this video, we're not actually gonna be talking about anything new, but we are in fact gonna be talking about my favorite custom content from 2019. So this isn't necessarily CC that was created in 2019, but these are my favorite creators. If you go over to my CC Tumblr page, you will find that I reblog a lot of the same custom content creators. I stick to what I know that I love, and these are the ones that I have been loving all throughout the year of 2019. So the first creator that I have been fully obsessed with and and I think I've downloaded almost everything that they have created throughout this year and also in the past. And this is Okrui. I'm sorry if I pronounce any of these names incorrectly. I probably will because I'm terrible at pronunciation, but I have so much of this CC. This specific hairstyle, the Cleo hair, is one of my very favorites. I absolutely love the Realm of Magic stuff that this creator came out with. And honestly, the hairstyles have just been incredible throughout 2019. Definitely a creator I will always go back to. And one of the first creators I seem to check whenever a new pack comes out, I have to check like whether they've done any conversions, whether they've created some cool hairstyles, because I know that they probably have, and I know that I'm gonna have to download them into my game straight away. The next creator is Sims Trouble. Honestly, Sims Trouble is probably one of my standout creators throughout The Sims 4. I absolutely love everything that Sims Trouble puts out. They've put out a lot of hairstyles recently, but their clothing is just my taste, I love it, it's bright, it's colorful, it's bold, it's got patterns. Everything that Sims Trouble puts out just looks incredible, fits with the game really well. All of this is gonna be Maxis Match content because I use Maxis Match. Then we have I'm Vikai. This creator mainly does female hairstyles. So the last two kind of do a range between males and females, whereas Vikai does a lot of female hairstyles, but I mean, Come on now, if you know how to do something, just freaking do it. And that's exactly what this creator does. I love all of the short bobs, the Marion, the Margot, the Sabrina hair. I think again, I have almost every single one of these hairstyles in my game. And there's a lot of creators putting out the same type of content. Like I feel, I don't know why, but 2019 was like the year for the bisexual bob. I mean, I might Myself, got my own and creators were also focusing on it a lot but Vakai just does it so well like I would much prefer just to stick with these hairstyles and not download others just because I know I can like fully rely on this creator. Then we have another creator who definitely focuses on female hairstyles majority of the time and Green Llamas definitely knows female hairstyles. Again, like Vakai, I think I have almost all of these in my game. There's just something about these hairs that look so maxis and they fit in really, really well to the game. Honestly, you wouldn't know that they weren't official because the standard of work is like so up there. I don't know how people do it. Honestly, I was thinking maybe for 2020, I'll learn a new skill. I'll figure out how to make CC so that I can make more male hairstyles because honestly, it's 
it's what we deserve as a community. There's a lot of amazing female hairstyles out there, but I feel like the boys still don't get enough love. But seeing work like this, I'm just like, no, I have to leave it to the professionals. I can't be dealing with that. I don't know how people do it, but all of this work is bloody amazing. I know we're focusing on hairstyles, I just figured this was an easier way to do it. So the next one is Marceau Sims. Marceau is actually a new addition for me. They make both female and male hairstyles. I actually don't think they've been making CC for too long because I have most of these and I feel as if they've all been like pretty recent. One, I love the aesthetic of their page. I just think this is so cool. And two, I love like the actual work that they put out. Again, it's super Max's match. It fits in with the game really, really well. And they've also started to dabble in clothing as well, which I'm all for. I love a little bit of Max's match clothing. I definitely, now that it's the new year, I need to do a major CC clear out. Next up we have is how is Zhao. I'm sorry that I mispronounced that. But again, another hairstylist who does amazing things. I have downloaded most of their CC throughout 2019. I think their thumbnails originally is what really stuck out to me. Whenever I saw it on my Tumblr feed, I was like, oh my God, those thumbnails are like so perfect and just like show off the hairs so well. And even though the hairstyles are pretty similar to what we've already seen, I feel like they just have such a different feel for them. Like they seem so individual. I also love the colors that are used on a lot of these hairs. Then we have VV Sims, who is honestly one of my standouts from this year. I freaking love VV. And that's because VV is one of the few CC creators who mainly focuses on guys in The Sims 4. I know, we don't hear that very often. I feel like even the EA team don't really focus on guys all that often, but the amount of male hairs that Vivi has put out this year and every single one of them looks amazing. I've used a lot of these throughout the year. As I'm scrolling through, you guys are probably like, oh, that was used on so-and-so. That was used on someone else. That's because Vivi is one of the only people who's putting out a lot of male content right now. So big props to VV Sims. We're now slowly moving on to clothing as well. So Stephanie Sims definitely focuses on both like basic clothing. And I don't mean basic as in like, oh, that's easy to make. I mean like very like basic items. You know how Zara has like Zara basics and the kind of all the staples that you need in your wardrobe. That's how I feel about Stephanie's CC. Basically what they create is super simple stuff that can really match any outfit in amazing colors and also hairstyles as well. Again, seems super simple. I know that they're not. I know a lot of hard work and dedication and time goes into these creations. But when I say basic, I mean like staples of the game, like something that you can just throw on a sim and it will suit them no matter what. I definitely feel like that's where Stephanie really shines and you can see it in their work like how much they've put out through the years. So like I said not all of this is from 2019. These are just really like the highlighted creators that I want to draw attention to that I feel deserve it from who I've used throughout the year. Moving on from clothing and hairs for a little bit, I did actually change my eyes up kind of halfway through the year. I think I decided to change my eyes so I do still use the old eyes that I mentioned in last year's CC faves, but I have also started using a few others. So Sukai's version two by Squeamish Sims are definitely my favorites right now. I absolutely adore these eyes. I just love how deep they are. Like when I look into my Sims eyes and they're wearing these, I feel as if I can get lost in the moment and I'm just like, damn. I never want to leave your eyeballs. And that's how I want to feel about my Sims. That's how they draw me in to play them. That's how they make me feel guilty for ruining their lives. And Sukai's V2 just... Mm. 
they just do that for me. And then the next ones are actually the eyes I use throughout my island living let's play. So if you like my island living sims, these were the eyes that I was using on them. These are by Leah X Simbler. I think they're Mars Mud's wet eyes, but they're a conversion. So these are Leah's version of those eyes. But like I said, all my island living sims had these eyes. I just think they're so cute. Again, they're really deep and I just love falling in love with my sims. I mean, who hasn't been there? If you can relate, you need to download both of these sets of eyes. I have them as non-defaults in my game, so neither of them are defaults. I don't really like having a default set of eyes because I do change eyes quite frequently, but I can see myself going into 2020 with these two being the top two contenders for me. And I know I'm not a makeup guru, I'm really not the best when it comes to makeup in The Sims 4, but I do have to give a very special shout out to Nathan, aka Cryptic Sim. I mentioned Nathan in my last favorites video for 2018 and it has not changed. Cryptic Sim is like my god when it comes to makeup in The Sims 4. I pretty much only use their lipstick. I absolutely love everything that they put out. I know I'm saying that about everyone, but when it comes to makeup, there is literally no one who does it like Cryptic Sim for me. And another very special shout out, I think Clumsy Alien really stole my heart this year. Everything about Clumsy Alien's style is just everything I want for myself. All of the clothes that they've ever created I just want in my own wardrobe. We all know that I dress my sims very, very similar as to how I dress and I feel like Clumsy Alien just like shows that off in the best way. So please do yourself a favor and go and download the whole of Clumsy Aliens catalog. They have stuff for kids, they have stuff for adults, they have stuff for males, they have stuff for females. We've all seen these dungarees on pretty much every single child sim I have created this year. Clumsy Alien just get me, they pull on my heartstrings and I physically own every single set. I am fully obsessed. I actually haven't downloaded this set and now I need to because I want it all. If I can't wear it, then my Sims are gonna wear it instead. Next up is a creator who you guys might be surprised to see, but I have been using their custom content an awful lot. They are more on the alpha side. This is what I like to call like the very thin line between alpha and Max's match. So some of Trelike's clothing can look very alpha-ish. Some of it can look very Max's match. Match. They usually are included on Max's Match blogs, so that's where I found them. The community actually recolors a lot of Trilike stuff. Trilike just seems to be this pinpoint in the CC community where everyone's like, I love this custom content, but I need it in even more variants. And so everyone always recolors Trilike. If you download something and it doesn't work, it's probably a recolor of Trilike's clothing. <laughs> So definitely go check out their catalog. Another standout for me, you guys will know this if you watch my CC shopping streams, I came across Story Legacy Sims quite early on into this year and honestly I haven't looked back. I think I've downloaded everything that they've put out since I found them. Molly is an amazing Max's Match creator. All of the clothes are so stinking cute. Definitely heavily focus on new packs as well when new packs come out. So Story Legacy Sims is again another CC creator that I run to whenever a new pack comes out because I'm like, I bet they've done exactly what I wanted them to do. So Story Legacy Sims, I don't know. I feel like Molly although they have the same name as me, is also in my head, which is quite scary to think about, but also I am very thankful for that because honestly, 
just seems to know what I want when I want it and then releases it the next day. Can we please take a moment of silence for Jolly Bean? You guys have probably heard me talk about Jolly Bean literally this whole year. I feel like I've used a lot of their stuff this year and as I'm scrolling through this is probably one again where you're like I've seen that on Molly Sim, I've seen that, I know where that's from and it's just because I'm fully obsessed again. I love, love, love love their fashion sense. They just seem to come up with stuff that isn't really in the game that I definitely feel is missing and definitely basics but also just like stuff that you would have never thought of. I love Pigeon Home. Pigeon Home actually makes some really cool clothes that kind of fit all frames which is really nice. Usually when you download custom content it's either male or female and then you can't find it on the other frame. Whereas Pigeon actually usually creates it for both. So I definitely appreciate that because it kind of just doesn't put the CC in a box and it's actually super helpful to be able to download something and have both female and male frames wear it because that's kind of what I expect from CC. Although I know not everyone can do it, but Pidge does a really great job of it. So please do go check out Pigeon Home. Mm. Another one of my favorites, VRV. Oh my word. Can we just take a moment to scroll through this like slowly and just check out everything? Because this page is just so aesthetically pleasing and you have some simples, you also have some patterns, you also have male, you have female. I actually don't have any of their bridal collection, but now I definitely have to download it. These trousers I recently just uh, absolutely obsessed over in my Christmas CC haul. If you didn't see that video, I will probably leave it in the end card. I basically treated myself to some custom content that I had missed over the Christmas period, and also I didn't want to spend money on myself over Christmas, so I just thought I would shop for my Sims instead, and it was very therapeutic. We love retail therapy and I really feel like that's where custom content comes in super handy. But these pants are amazing. Go download the Orchid rolled up pants by Via V. Mysterious Dane is another creator who makes amazing clothes for both masculine and feminine frames. Honestly, I found Mysterious Dane because of their male clothing, because I feel like male CC is really hard to come by. Um, and they kind of like step out of the box a little bit. Like I've never seen anyone do a masculine frame turtleneck with no sleeves, whereas Mysterious Dane will just do it, which I freaking love. Like they don't really have anything holding them back. They don't have any barriers. They don't really try to censor themselves. So that's what I really appreciate about Mysterious Dane's CC. And again, just super simple basics that I feel like any type of sim can wear. And you kind of just have them in your game. And yeah, you might not use them like every single occasion, but having them in your game makes you realize like what is officially missing from the sims. And then finally, another creator who I found due to their masculine custom content and that is Sims on the Rope. So recently Rope has been doing a lot of like households and builds and stuff, but I still love all of their uh, CC. This Escale, Escal, Escal shirt is one of my favorites. I use it almost every male Sim I make. And yeah, their male CC really drew me towards them because again, it's just super simple stuff that I feel as if we are missing missing when it comes to official stuff in The Sims 4 and just having it in your game really makes you realize that. I fall back a lot on Ropes content and Mysterious Danes. So there we have it guys, those are my favorite custom content creators for 2019. The CC that I have really been relying on throughout this past year. Let me know who you guys favorite CC creators are from the year. I always, always love discovering new custom content and if you are a CC creator, if you happen to be watching this, then a really big thank you to you for all your hard work. Honestly, I don't know how you do it, but I'm so glad that you are part of the community and you are still out 
here and you're still making content for The Sims 4 because geez, we need you. And what I also want to know is in the year of 2020, what would you like CC creators to focus on a little bit more? For me, it's definitely male hairstyles. I still feel as if they are lacking a little bit and I do think that there's still a lot of paths to be uncovered when it comes to male hairstyles in The Sims 4 so I would definitely love to see CC creators kind of focus on the boys a little bit more but let me know what you would like to see more of throughout 2020 from custom content. Thank you guys so so much for tuning into this video. I will link all of these creators over on my CC finds tumblr which is englishsimmercc.tumblr.com Com. So definitely go hit that link in the description. There will be a post to all of these download pages because I freaking love these creators and I really do feel like you should go support them and download some stuff if you don't have it already because it's just amazing and I wouldn't yell about it so much if I didn't think it was. But thank you guys so so much for tuning in. I hope you all had an amazing New Year's. I hope you are ready to make 2020 your bitch and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.